To insert a dart, click the Create Dart tool. Select the first point of the dart legs, then the second point. Drag your cursor into the pattern piece and click to set the dart length. In the Dart dialog, you can change the width and depth of the dart and set the overlap direction to close the dart either clockwise or counterclockwise. Set the diameter of the pivot point, or drill hole, and its distance from the dart top. Set the internal mode to drill, aux drill, draw, cut, or none, and click OK. To move the dart apex, click the Create Dart tool, then select the apex of the dart. Click to set the new apex position, then choose how to fix the dart. Move Center aligns the apex to the center of the dart. Make either the first or second leg longer or shorter, or use the average length of the dart legs for both. Double-click the dart to open the dart dialog and adjust the depth if needed. To edit a dart, click on the dart at the apex and go to the darts menu and choose edit dart. This will bring all the attributes of the current dart. To remove a dart, select the dart, go to the darts menu and choose remove darts. This will simply delete the dart from the piece. To convert a computer dart, to a cutaway dart, select the dart at the apex and go to the darts menu and choose cutting dart. Now my dart is converted to a cutout dart. To cut out multiple darts on your piece, select your piece and go to the darts menu and choose cutting all darts. This will convert computer darts to cutout darts. To transfer the dart to a new position, click on the apex of the dart, go to the darts menu and choose rotate dart to point. Select a point somewhere along the outline and click. The next step is to click on the corner as a pivot point and then move your mouse to rotate the dart. The dart has now been closed here and transferred here. To rotate a dart around the specific position from the center of the apex, select the dart, go to darts menu and choose rotate around center. Next, you will click and specify the distance from the dart apex. Here I'll type an inch and a half and click OK. Notice now that the X mark is an inch and a half away from the apex. Select a point on the outline to transfer the dart and then click on a point for rotation. Now you can see the distance between the two apexes is an inch and a half.